The Hackathon was an open online collaborative event where a whole community of people came together to hack the notion of organisation and what an agile and adaptive organisation truly looks like, what are the barriers to creating an agile and adaptive organisation, and then through that, what does HR need to be or become in order to support and enable truly agile and adaptive businesses. We had uh, 1,700 participants who were registered, hailing from a variety of organizations, consultancies from across six continents, and it was the, we were blown away by the diversity. Working with people from different countries, we had um, Deb who led it from our team in New York, we had a guy in India who worked for an IT organization, and that was just amazing, having completely different viewpoints and inputs and ideas. We also had a number of, of coaches, some of the leading thinkers and doers in HR, stirring the pot occasionally with our community and it was just a, a fantastic level of participation. We ended up getting hundreds of ideas and eventually we call us around 60 that we think are really, really promising and the teams worked on collaboratively. It was a real chance to uh, challenge your thinking, get some different ideas and get some perspective. It's a fast thing, it's not about taking six months to develop something, it's uh, you know, let's get on and do this because we haven't got time to wait really. It was asking us what we saw the problems were, I think, actually. It's about finding ways to break down how we work today and find new ways to work. So the challenges for organisations to become more agile and adaptive, I think, are many. And, and through the hackathon, we identified 12 key barriers. And they range from everything from you know, too much siloed thinking, hierarchical structures, bureaucracy and decision making, resistance to change and so on. So there are a wide range of factors, but many of them, of course, are related to culture and behaviour as much as they are to structure and process. So I suppose that a vision for the organisation of the future, building off the hackathon and what we've learnt about it and debated, is an organisation that is much more agile and adaptive. It's using all of its people to help connect to the external world, understand what's changing, to come up with new ideas, to innovate, but all of course aligned to a common sense of purpose and mission, uh, which is critical. So through all of this, we were also determined to figure out so what's HR's role in these sorts of transformations and, and through that to hack HR itself. HR, I think, in the past has often been as guilty as any function of creating some of these barriers to agility. One of the, the hacks that I particularly enjoyed was called Chuck Out Your Chins and that was the whole notion that we have too much policy and process and practice that have built up over time and we need to almost deconstruct and make HR itself much more agile and adaptive and not adding to the problems and the barriers of things like bureaucracy and control. Mm -hmm.